Hi Gemini, welcome to Magpie Moonshine. My name is Kaylee. This is your general tarot scope for the week ahead. Um, let's see what we've got for you. All the housekeeping stuff like decks, how to book a personal read, all that jazz, it's all down below. So let's see what we've got for you for this week. What have we got? Oh wow, it feels like chunks of things. Six of Wands, element of success. Things all seem to be coming together, moving forward a bit more smoothly. And that feels a bit like a relief, to be perfectly honest, Gemini. I don't know why, but that feels like a relief. Like, finally, a breakthrough, success, joy. Like, you can just sit back and go, yes, finally, I've done it. I've achieved. And I don't know if this is, like, the full, like, yeah, you've been quite defensive of something. It feels like a breakthrough, to be honest, more than anything else. It feels like you've been coming up against obstacles and defensiveness and today and then you're just like no i'm breaking through no i'm not let's break this 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 ceiling let's break through this i'm not having this i'm not being held back anymore yeah maybe you lashed out the way you did it but um yeah there's a breakthrough i don't know if this is a knowledge breakthrough like knowledge is power and somebody is witnessing your awesome glory though by the way just so you know um but yeah, that kind of feels like lashing out. There are ways to break through. That's not necessarily one of them. You may have won the battle, but you won't won the war kind of if you've had a go and lashed out. But um, King of Pentacles, yeah. Cool, calm, collected, committed. You know what the end result is. You know what you need to do to make it happen. You have the resources. Keep everybody running. Keep the kingdom running. Abundance. You're in a place of abundance, right? Are there people like you've become successful and there are people that are trying to ride your coat, coat coattails in order to kind of they're like oh well as you've got so say maybe you could like drop in like i do this or oh i do a little bit of that maybe you can see if there's a job for me there or it's that sort of energy it's that kind of well you can do a favor and it's almost like you're like i can't do that leave me alone protect my energy set the boundaries somebody wants to get in on your success when they've done very little to earn it on the way up by the look of it uh, Queen of Pentacles. Let's see, what else have you got? Four of Cups, Apathy, yeah. Somebody is trying to ride your coattails because they want to be where you are, right? Without actually doing the proper work. Um, they want to leg up. They want to... It's about who they know. They want a bit of nepotism. I know you. You can get me a job in X, Y, Z. And that kind of energy is kind of... They don't have the work ethic in order to get to where they are by all means if you think they're capable and you know they'll commit to it absolutely give them that leg up um although it kind of feels wrong i kind of feel like they have to learn for themselves like they're asking you to do something for them but they haven't they're at a maiden they're at a page level right which is like the lowest the court card levels in experience i'm not saying levels of value i'm just saying in experience it's kind of like they've kind of got a gain knowledge they have a little bit of knowledge and a little bit of knowledge is a bad thing sometimes um and you kind of have to feel like you're defending your decision not to lift them up not to make it easier for them but they have to learn the lesson so that they too become productive like you do um do their apprenticeship do their time and i don't know if that's literal or metaphorical that they have to do their time do their investment do their journey do their apprenticeship of life or they do their apprenticeship of whatever but it's to do with resources like you're quite abundant right now and they want a little bit of it whether that's like i say a job or i don't know they want something done easy for them and they're not kind of willing to do the work themselves and to be honest you kind of know that because they haven't earned it because they haven't they don't know the true value of what the opportunity would be that you would be offering them or, or offering to extend to them they would be apathetic about it and because they're apathetic they don't care therefore they're not going to cherish it and work it and realize its true value so i really this is kind of advising you that yes you're successful and yes there are going to be people that are sniffing around looking for an opportunity of what they can have from that um this is kind of advising you that they need to learn the lesson themselves that um this is what they need to learn it themselves they need to earn it they need to go through the emotional investment the physical investment the financial investment possibly they need to go through investing their energies into earning something to know its true value if you give it to them from just because they're never going to know its true value and that's really what it's being taught you know it's true value you know how far you've come because you worked your ass off to get what you've got so why would you, and i'm all for giving someone a leg up if the, if they need it if there is they are at a actual disadvantage but this person doesn't feel like they're at a disadvantage it literally just feels like they want it 
it is self-entitlement. They believe that because they ask you, you're going to provide it and they get this leg up because they believe they're entitled to it. They haven't earned it. They haven't earned the right to be in that position. They have to, if they were at a disadvantage in the first place, absolutely give them a leg up, help them up, help them get to where they should be. But this person has very little knowledge, very little experience, very little um, track record or evidence of that they are committed to anything, that they have the level of knowledge required or experience required. There's, it really feels like someone's coming to you for a job. You've got, you've become successful in your business, in your field, and they're going, can I have a job? And you're like, but you haven't got any qualifications. <laughs> and they keep going, but I, I'd be really good. Like, da, 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 da. and it's like, well, yeah, but you don't have any evidence. You don't have any education. You don't have any, and they'll go, but, I won't unless I get an opportunity and you're like, well, why should I give you this big shot job in my company when you haven't even done a a job that you don't need experience for, like working waitressing or I'm not saying they're not valid jobs. They are. I've done this, both these jobs myself, but there are frontline jobs that you can do. You can work in a supermarket. You can go and be a healthcare assistant in the hospital. Um, you have to have baseline level um, qualifications and I'm not saying that you, ugh, what I'm saying is that this feels like you're in a technical role and the field that you're in requires a level of that technicality or experience or qualification and it's kind of like they're going well I could do it and you're like but you've got no experience in any job role let alone this job role this field so it kind of feels like they're not grasping that they haven't got any life experience it's kind of like an entitled teenager that's just come out of school going give me a job in your company and that because I know you and you have this role you can get me a job where you're working and they're asking you to extend your success and power in order to to bring them up to something that they haven't even earned yet um but why should they be lifted up and bypassed by people who have got experience who have got a proven track record who you know would be a secure investment in the company to recommend um and it's just kind of like they just feel entitled and because it's entitled they will never value the position they've been given um and it kind of feels like no you shouldn't do that you should be letting them earn it themselves right they should be at least go out and get some experience in life before you start saying i want a higher old job you have to go out and just show that you have it's like when you get a mortgage right you get the higher rate because you're more of a risk so you have to pay more in the beginning because you're the higher risk once you've shown that you can, you have a track record, that you pay on time and you don't miss a payment and you can even afford more maybe, your, your interest rate comes down, you're less of a risk. Therefore, they're more likely to invest and lend you money. They invest in you, right? They invest in lending you the money. But they just, it's almost like they don't get that concept, like that they have to go out and at least get a job and have a proven track record that they're reliable, if nothing else, because right now they don't seem to have anything necessarily that is tangible or good enough evidence for you to be extending that offer of uh, privilege, basically. It just feels like somebody's being entitled and privileged and, and almost like demanding it. And it's like, well, you haven't earned that. And because you've never earned it, you don't value it. And it's my head on the line. I'm recommending you for that role. Why would I do that? Sun's rays, yeah. You, you're very clear. You need to give clarity. I don't think you will offer them the opportunity. They need to realise. And saying no to them, I think, is quite liberating, healing. Yeah, you're not... I you don't think you quite realise, but by instilling in them that they need to get some evidence before you will go and ask for a job where you are or because they they need to go and do it they need to go and prove their worth they need to be a clear cut sure sign yes i am dependable yes i am reliable um and this is just a lesson they've kind of got to learn that you don't just get everything given to you on a plate um and it kind of feels like unfortunately you're the one that's kind of got to give it to them but i think you'll do it in quite a kind way like to, to, to um break it to them but it, it really just feels like somebody's entitled thinks they're entitled to something and they're not in, i don't know if this is somebody even asking for like a car like you're abundant and successful so you could afford to buy your kid a car but they need to earn it in some way you can't just give it to them they have to earn it in some way it's that kind of do you know what i mean like because otherwise they'll never appreciate it because they never had to work towards it because they're not invested in it emotionally energetically they've just been given it there's no real they're apathetic towards it 
whereas if they've earned it they're a bit more invested in maintaining it and ensuring that it, it keeps its value that it, it is reliable itself do you know what i mean it's like they have to learn that e that effort oh, you got feminine and masculine yeah and teaching them softly softly and maybe a bit more forcefully for yeah birth they're, they're fetuses right they're whoever it is you're dealing with they're a fetus in the world in this in this world and they need to learn like they have to grow yet they have to learn they have to have the apprenticeship of life if nothing else but they have to kind of realize that you have to work towards things you have to earn things things have to grow and and you have to nurture something and in order to make it successful and it's kind of like they need to learn that lesson they're just germinating in the world and it's your job to guide them a little bit of what's required to get something you want anyway i hope that is of some use to you gemini hopefully i will see you again next week bye for now